In this video, we will continue with integration of 1 over x and 1 over ax plus b. You will find this on page 525 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. A sketch of the curve y equals 1 over 3x minus 1 is shown. Find the area enclosed by the curve, the x-axis, and the line x equals 1, x equals 2. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. So as soon as they say this, you can use the calculator. Okay, but let's start. To find the area, it's between 2 and 1, so that's why it's 2 and 1. And this I must integrate. And now I integrate. What is standing in front of x? It's 1 over 3. Then then, then the bracket, then 2 and 1. And then I substitute 2, and then I substitute 1. And then I'm going to simplify and I get this. And if I take out a third, so basically what I did there, I took out a third, and then I have lin 5 minus lin 2. And that is giving me a third, and then the rules of logs, uh, lin 5 over 2. And then I just press it on my calculator and correct to three significant figures, 0 0.305. Okay, what I usually do is I put, so I press 1 divided 3, len bracket 5 divided 2, close the bracket, equals, and that is what you get. I want you to stop the video, and because 1 is more or less exactly the same, I decided to do on this video number 2. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number two. The diagram shows part of the curve y is equal to 10 over 5 minus x. The coordinates of the point s, so this coordinate, let's just get another color, is going to be 3 and 0. Okay. Find the coordinates of r and of um, R and P, R and P. But let's just find all the coordinates. I think that's the best. And then we just name um, R and P. So let's start with number A. Okay. So if I'm looking at this, find the coordinate of um, Q. Let's just first find the coordinate of Q. So if I substitute this 3 in, into this equation, I will get Q. So, okay. Just get the pin correct. To get Q, um, substitute, okay, so to get Q, I take the equation and in the place of X, I substitute 3. So 10, 5 minus 3, and that's 10 over 2, and that's 5. So therefore, Q, and what will, remember, it's Y, so what is, what is the value of x? It's 0. And the value of y, what will that be? That will be 5. So don't forget that that point is 5. Okay. How will I get p? Um, p. So let's just find p. I'm going to take another color. So p. So if I want to find p, it's where the curve cuts the y-axis. And where the curve intersects, so... Um, curve intersect y axis and then x is 0. So in this equation, I'm going to put y is equal to 10, 5 minus 0, and that's 10 over 5, and that's 2. So therefore, P, remember it's also, so what is the value of x? 0 and 2. So don't forget, that is 2. And now, how do I get the value of r? Let's just find r now. So to find r, it's, it's basically, actu actually I'm having r already ready. So I can say therefore r, because I know that the x value is 3. Okay, let's just write it there. It's 3, and I know the y value is 5. So therefore, r is 3 and 5. And that is my answer. Okay, so I have p, and I have q in the process, and it's but p, I have, and r, I have. Okay, that was number 8.
Let's go to number B. Find the area of region A. Now region A is this brown gold. Okay, so the area, to find the area, I integrate. Okay, and remember, it's between 3 and 0, and my equation is going to be 10 over 5 minus x, and it's going to be dx. Okay, so I'm going to integrate. Now, don't forget, it's 10. What is the... Don't, no, don't take 5. Don't make that mistake. It's the value in front of x and grab the sign. So, it's negative 1. And then, lin. Let's just get the lin first. Lin. And then the value in the bracket. 5 minus x. Or, actually, that denominator. And then, don't forget, it's going to be to 3 and 0. Okay. So, basically, I'm just going to... It's not necessary, but... So remember, it's negative 10, ln 5 minus x. It was not necessary this step, 3 and 0. Okay, so I'm going to substitute. So it's negative 10, ln, and now I'm going to substitute that 5 minus 3 minus negative 10, ln, and then it's going to be... 5 minus 0, and that is negative 10, ln 2, um, and this is going to be positive 10, ln 5. Okay, I'm just going to swap the sides. Unnecessary step, it's just to, for the video's sake, I'm doing it a little bit longer. Just want to see, let you see this. So this is going, I take out 10, and then it's ln 5 minus ln 2, and I can simplify this. I'm simplifying this as equal to 10 ln 5 over 2. But let's just read the question again. Maybe they say pretty significant. Um, find the area of the region um, B. Okay, so if we want to make it to three significant figures, uh, they didn't say, I'm just going to press 10, multiply, it's not necessary, lin, bracket, I don't think it's necessary for that multiply, 5 divided 2, close bracket, equals. Um, but if I free significant, it's 9.16. If they say exact, usually you leave it like that, otherwise you can make it to free significant. Okay, you, and I don't know the units, but it's units um, squared. Okay, that's number B. And now number C. Hinge, find the area of region B. Now, I'm first going to show you. If you look at B, you can look at the big figure is the rectangle. If you subtract A, you're going to be left with B. And that's how I'm going to do it first. So I'm going to get, say, to get C, um, area, that, or to get the area of B, area, of B is equal to the rectangle minus the area of A. Okay, and what is the rectangle? If I go back, I want to just show you. If this, that means that part is 3 and that part is 5. So it's 3 times 5. Do you see? That's the rectangle. So it's going to be 3 times 5. Minus this one's area. Now, I'm going to work with the decimal. I will tell you later why. So, 9.16. So, I'm going to say the 15 minus 9.16. And it's going to be 5.84 units squared. Okay. Now, I'm going to look at number C. Now, I'm going to do number C here. Just do not go so high. Okay, that was actually C. That was C. I'm, I'm talking about D. Let's do number D. Express the area of region B as an integral in terms of the variable Y. Okay, now again, you have to revise chapter 7. Um, if in this case, we went to the x-axis. Now, what did we do in chapter 7 if we went to the y-axis? We basically take the equation, and let's just see the equation again. We take the equation and we make x 
the subject of the formula. Okay, so it was 10 over 5 minus x. Now let's first do that. Put it over 1, this. So it's going to be y, 5 minus x is equal to 10. So it's 5y minus xy is equal to 10. Okay, now if I want, I'm just taking it over y due to the negative. So it's 5y minus 10. And then I divide by y and I divide by y. And if I really want, I can simplify it further, okay? I can say, therefore, I'm swapping the sides, and it's 5y over y. I'm taking the denominator to both numerator terms. And it's going to be 5, that cancel, minus 10 over y. Okay. Now, if you want to write it, so I'm going to start, and I'm, I want to use another color now. So the integral, okay, I, I want to give you the boundaries. Okay, let's look here. Do you see the 5 and the 2? It's that gray area. So it's between 5 and 2. And actually, that's all they want. But I want to show you the answers all the same. But that's not actually the question. So it's additional just for the video. Okay. So 5 minus 10 over y. And I integrate. And that's what the 2y. So dy. That's actually all they want for this question. So stop. That's finished. Uh, express the area of the region B as an integral in terms of the variable Y. And that, in terms of Y, as an integral, finished. Stop in the exam. But just for the video's sake, and, and just because it's for me very important that you make connections and that you see things are connecting, showing you that it's the same answer. So basically, if I, and I, I repeat, it's just for the video that I continue. I'm going to work this out and see if I also get 5.84. Let's do that. Okay, so I integrate. So I get 5y, okay, remember, minus 10, uh, and then it's, it's 1 over y, so it's lin y, okay, and then it's going to be 2, 5, and 2. And then I, I put it in, so it's 5, 5, minus 10, lin Five minus five two minus ten ln two. Okay, I want to just show you, and I say I will show you at the end again. I'm not going to say it so many times now. So twenty five minus ten ln five minus ten plus ten ln two. Okay. So it's going to be 15 minus 10 ln 5 plus 10 ln 2. Okay, I want you to take your calculator because we can just press it. So press 15 minus 10 ln 5 plus 10 uh, ln 2. And that is going to give you 5, four. it's 837 but 5.84. And I want you to see that this is exactly that. But I repeat, please, this was just for the video. So in the exam, stop there. That's all they wanted.